So we did an experiment. We got Claude, lovely Claude, Claude, Claude Opus in, in thinking 4. mode. 4.1. So and, and we gave it a data set, open source data set, and asked it to analyze the data set, like find in, to find things that would be interesting to a material scientist um, who's, who's like trying to increase the efficiency of their catalysts, right? Trying to understand which elements of the composition are, are more or less important and like which... Oh, God. Yeah, why, oh God, this is cool. This is uh, giving me flashbacks to chemistry, but yes, it is cool. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, so, so Claude, lovely Claude. I'm sorry, Claude, but you did a terrible job. It hallucinated some stuff. It made some like big sweeping over over generalizations. It like over indexed a few outliers. Like it's fine. It's not Claude's fault. Like Cla- Claude is Claude is just not made for this. It's it's okay. <laughs> like, Claude, we still love you. It's fine. And then we did we did the exact same thing, but we gave Claude access to Discovery Engine. Yeah. And oh my it, God, it's it, so different. It was amazing. Uh yeah, like because because Claude and language models, right? They're exceptional at synthesis, at like Everything. pulling things together. At you know, and they've got a really good sense of what's important to us, like what's important to humans. But, uh, giving them access to to data driven discovery tools like ours really feels like a step change in terms of their ability to contribute to frontier science. 